Welcome to part 2 of the Magi Saga. In part 1, we learned the Magi were a secret intelligence network from Persia. But the biggest mystery remains, how did they know? How did men in Babylon 900 miles away pinpoint a single house in Bethlehem? The Bible calls it a star, but modern astronomy reveals it was something much more complex. It wasn't a GPS. It was a cryptographic code written in the sky. To the ancient world, astronomy and prophecy were the same thing. They believed the movements of the planets were the handwriting of God. The Magi weren't looking for a literal new star to pop up. They were tracking the planets. Specifically, they were tracking the king planet Jupiter. In ancient Babylonian astronomy, Jupiter was known as the king planet. It represented the ultimate authority. The Magi had been tracking Jupiter's path for centuries. In the year 3 and 2 BC, Jupiter began to do something impossible. It entered a triple conjunction. Jupiter moved into the constellation of Leo the Lion. This was the symbol of the tribe of Judah. Then it approached the star Regulus, known as the Little King. But it didn't just pass by. Due to retrograde motion, Jupiter appeared to circle Regulus three times. It was literally crowning the king star. To Omegus, the sky was screaming, a king is born in Judah. But it wasn't just the lion. At the same time, the constellation Virgo, the virgin rose in the east, clothed in the sun with the moon at her feet. The Magi saw the king planet crowning the lion while the virgin rose. The message was unmistakable. The virgin has birthed the king of the Jews. The Bible says the star stood over where the young child was. Skeptics say stars can't stop. Astronomers say they do. It's called retrograde motion. As Earth passes Jupiter, the planet appears to freeze in the sky for days. On December 25th, 2 BC, Jupiter stopped its motion directly over the town of Bethlehem, as viewed from Jerusalem. It was the final marker. They didn't need a magical GPS. They needed a calendar and a map. The sky told them when. The prophecy of Micah told them where, Bethlehem. They combined science and scripture to triangulate the exact location. They arrived not at a stable, but at a house, finding the child exactly as the code predicted. This was the most sophisticated intelligence operation in ancient history. A 500-year-old order used advanced astronomy to track a specific sequence of alignments that would only happen once in history. They proved that the universe itself was a clock, counting down to this moment. But the story takes a dark turn. The gifts they brought weren't just for a king. One of them was a funeral supply for a dead body. Why did they bring embalming oil to a baby? Join us for part three the death omen. Subscribe to Epic Enigma.